kitchen, I'm going to do chukku kapi. Chukku means it's a dry ginger. Now this coffee or the kapi is so good when you're having very bad food. Like me, I've been suffering from cold for past few days after I came back from my holidays. So invariably I tried having all kind of medicines and then I just was suffering like hell, you know. Um, the cold was not going at all, although I'm just only having medicine medicine. Now what I really did, I realized that I, I, it had slipped out from my mind that I should try this home remedy. I don't know how I forgot about it. But then I realized that yesterday I immediately made one cup of the coffee and I had my my nose was so blocked that I was not able to breathe like it was. And I was finding so much of difficulty. And then what I did was that I made this coffee and I had after having this coffee, after about one hour or something, I really found so much relief for me that I the water which was coming out from my nose just stopped. It was just water which was coming, you know. And it just stopped and my nose block opened up and I found a little better to sleep, to sleep very comfortably. So, uh, you know, the coffee ingredients are very handy at home. But, um, uh, you know, it's very spicy. So you can't have three, four coffees a day, no. At max, like you can have a half cup or a half cup in the morning, probably a half cup in the evening. You can have, or one cup nice you can have. It won't harm you in any way, but it's very strong and good for your body. So then this is how I made and I found really good. So today I'm going to make one cup of coffee and carry it with me. So I thought I will show you all how I have done this. Then I realized I have not posted this on this. These days there is a lot of uh, cold and uh, fever because of the weather change and everything. And everyone is so scared to go to the hospital. Now this is one thing home remedy what you can try at your house. It does give a lot of relief. With my experience, not only really now, earlier also I have tried this coffee making. When you have cough, when you have cold, try making this at your home and having this. It will really improve your uh, uh, illness, whatever you are suffering from. So let's have a look at the ingredients, what you need. I'm taking one and a half cup of the uh, water, normal water. I measured in this glass cup because I'm going to take, I have to now, what I have to do is allow this boil well and it has to boil so well that it has to reach to 3 fourth consistency of 3 fourth cup like it has to come from 1 and a half to 3 fourths so it has to boil so much like okay and I have taken here 1 tablespoon of the coffee now the, the power of the ingredients like ginger looks so high that you can substitute it with coffee powder if you don't have coffee powder, you can go for your instant coffee. At that time, if you're adding instant coffee, do not add one tablespoon. It will turn bitter more. Yeah, I think half, however strong you want, like if you like half, three, four cup, whatever the brand you are using. I have used the normal coffee powder where I use for my decaction. Now, this one piece, one tablespoon is just right for me for uh, this one cup of the, the three fourth. Like it will come up like this. Like so, this coffee for me, this is more than enough. Then I have taken here the dried ginger. See, I'm making it very strong for me. Nice two pieces of the ginger. And I've taken about one teaspoon of the peppercorns. Now peppercorn, if you feel you can't take the pepper, taste too much, you can reduce little bit. You can make it as half teaspoon. But the whole medicine, what you get value is from the pepper. The intake of the pepper only makes your cold and everything reduce a lot and then you have half teaspoon of the cumin cumin is just to uh, like um, cool your body and then it gives a good effect on your uh, body like so normally when we have any you must have seen everyone has this jeera water like in back home so this is why we just use jeera also here and i'm just adding a bit of the tulsi this is about a nice two tablespoon of the palm jaggery i have taken now what I suggest is like um, if you don't have palm jaggery then you go for your normal jaggery that you have with you okay and now what I have done is I am heating up the water sometimes home remedies are the best I am going to add in the entire palm jaggery now the palm jaggery what I am adding if you want more or less how bitter soft however you like to accept it is up to you you can add how much ever you want okay I've added the coffee also here. I'm not only going to add the tulsi. 
the rest everything i'll be adding and i'm just going to crush this like i can't add this ginger straight like that nor even the peppercorns i can just add like that so the peppercorns i can't add straight even the jeera and the ginger i'm just going to crush that and add it to the coffee i have powdered the ginger i'm just adding it there it's going to be very strong i will not say uh, it's a light coffee like just with sugar like what you're having it's really herbal like so now let it boil very well and reduce the water level until then all the ginger the pepper everything will extract its flavor into this coffee now so i'm going to allow it boil and reduce it as much as it reaches to about 3/4 cup of my glass i'm going to add in the fresh tulsi what i have here i'm allowing that also boil with this for some time let the tulsi also leave its flavor into the coffee i'm going to check the sugar level now that's how sweet i want to like okay I can add a little more jaggery. So we're gonna dampen a piece more. Adjust your level of the sugar. That is the jaggery level. How much ever you want. Coffee is ready now. Okay. Now we're going to fill to this coffee. Coco. No, Coco, stop it. Why are you troubling me? Coco is sitting on top of me, and then he wants to trouble me the most. The coffee is very strong, and you should have it hot, hot. You can have it cold. Then having cold will not serve your purpose. So intake this coffee as much as you like it in a hotter way. See, it gives you a good relief. This is how this coffee is made, and see how dark that you can see how dark the coffee is. So. Try making it at your home. I'm sure you're going to really like it. Thank you for watching me. Happy cooking, happy eating. Bye.